I think we have a problem. I don't think that crack's supposed to be there. And I think it's missing a bearing. I've decided cost wise, um, they run about 143 and you can get a new Hutch Club assembly. Uh, there's a special socket from videos that I can find that you do need to find those. So you'll have to order that. It's a 38 millimeter socket. So if that's something you might wanna tackle, hey, watch my video. Maybe I can uh, help someone out on to fixing this thing. The clutch hub assembly. And this comes as a unit. I was didn't look too deep, but I was not seeing just buying this part here. Uh, the bearing, of course, is what went bad on mine, and it cracked the hub. So, all right, getting started. We'll start in the basket. The center section has a spot you can stick your fingernail in. And that is where you would start putting a screwdriver in there to pry up the top. You want to be gentle. I like to twit, get the screwdriver in and twist just a little bit. You can hear the pop. Not a bad pop. Now, I've had this off several times. I've already busted a little tang off and it's down in there. So when you go to put this back on, you want to line up the dowels go in the little holes. These just fit inside the circle and clip down. But you want to make sure if you bust one of these off that you don't try to shove it back in where it's at. Mine's down here, so I have to remember to do that. Next is just a 10 millimeter socket. Don't use a Phillips that's in the center of it. All right, with a screw out, this actually just lifts up. With the lid off, this is the part with that special 38 millimeter socket. You will need an impact wrench for this. All right, so I pulled the washing machine out. Gotta get the lid up in order to get the top cap of the drum off. So you use your screwdriver. Should be right there. Missing it. There it is. There's two tangs to hit. I know that sounds a little rough. Uh, I watched a video, guy used a putty knife. Apparently that was really uh, worn in. Mine didn't come off ever like that. So you want something to rock this back onto. I just happen to have cabinets there or have it to where you can put it up against the wall. Another guy in a video used a chain uh, to hold it in place is your drum and so we have to take off this top cap which are Phillips head screwdriver. Over these screws I'm just going to use my smaller impact. And that is off. Inside the drum there are about 12 10 millimeter bolts. Need to remove those. And that way we can get uh, the basket completely out.
Now we got to rotate it onto its front or back, whichever I'm going to try to do it in this small area. Now I have already, already had my shaft out earlier. There's a shaft, this right here, because I needed to pull things apart and actually see so I could be correct in what I diagnosed. I tend to do that occasionally. But anyway, there is When you guys get back here, you will have a 24 millimeter nut to deal with. You'll want an impact again. And the reasoning behind the impact is because trying to hold everything, this all turns. So you need to use an impact because of how fast it's hammering or to turn that. Whereas if you're trying to just use a wrench, You've got to figure out how to try to hold everything. And they didn't design it that way. They designed it with impact. You use impacts to take apart. But anyway. So you'll impact that nut off. And then this would slide off. Wannably, I'm not sure if they call this the rotor. It's the outside of the motor. This is. Now we've got, this is all 10 millimeter nuts to take off. So yes, you do have to take uh, all of these off and then we'll get back in here. We want, leave this for last. This one right here is what actually holds the, the hub assembly and aligns it. So you want that to be the last part that you take off and it's the first part that you kind of put back on. those out. And one Phillips the ground wire. You want to try to just tuck that to the side best you can. So I apologize, you need to take off the holder first for the wiring. This hangs too much because I laid this on the front and not the back. We have less water coming out of it. If you lay it on the back, you shouldn't have the problems I'm having. Now, part of the instructions I had found of another site was very adamant about being careful with this. As that's your hub actuator right here. There. It does come out up towards the top a little easier, but you still got to wiggle and jiggle till you get up. Get it up there. Anyway, this is your whole hub assembly. So 
So we got our outside ones all taken off. Um, I went ahead and just took off that plate, but now we'll leave the Phillips heads, but we got to take these 10 millimeter off that's all the way around as well. <laughs> This may actually need a technical tap. There. Now it really stinks having to uh, take out that drum all for this, but the alignment process of getting it all back together would probably be pretty uh, difficult. Plus with your seals, there's a seal in there and I'll check with the new one if that steel, it probably stays. I believe that one is a part of the drum, but I'm gonna double check. And there's a seal that's actually in here. And so what I've gotta do as well, see, seals sometimes stick in the wrong places and don't stay with the part they actually came with. There's seals on the new hub assembly, so you have to go through depending on what brand or model you have and make sure you don't double stack the seals, because if you do, you're gonna end up with some bad leaks. So the nice other nice part is this is just nasty. So I actually get to get in here, uh, clean this completely out with a brush. Uh, that's just more nastiness I don't have to put back with my clothes so I'm going to get to cleaning and then we'll slowly put this thing back together so since everything's in a reverse order I'm not going to stop too many times I'll probably time lapse this a little bit or speed up the video just a few pointers um, the instruction there's no instructions that come with this I had to look up instructions online they actually say to use uh, dish detergent or wash machine soap, liquid soap. So your good old blue stuff, if you can see the blue on my finger. Uh, they say to put that on the seals before installing to help seal them up. So kind of, uh, if you've ever worked on car motors, a lot of times with those seals, you use oil to seal those o-rings and whatnot up and that helps to seal them that's so they don't stretch and rip on the way in um, and get damaged so kind of the same concept you know it's kind of neat i've never used soap before on a seal but uh, i'm going to go with that route Do make sure you watch your orientation. Now your actuator was over here, and there is a little plastic uh, dowel. So if you are in the wrong, you know, you could end up turning it down too much, and it was supposed to be. I'm here, 9 o'clock position. If you put the, I have it on the front. If you lay it down on the back, it'd be then the 3 o'clock position. I'm just going to start a lot of these bolts so I can have everything set and ready.
not forget your ground screw. Want to set this on here to get your teeth aligned. And it went in. Sometimes that doesn't go on very easily because it's the shaft is spinning. And some you just you got to do this jiggling move while trying to press it on. Now remember your washer. And this one was the 24 millimeter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the bottom side. All right, we've got her set back up. Now we need to put this plate back down. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more dish soap on that seal as sliding it in from the back side. A little worried I may have gotten some stuff on it. Again, don't forget, um, as you take things apart, make sure you remember, like this one had a washer underneath of it. Always before using an impact, you want to make sure you thread your bolts on, or nuts on, because... Uh, if it's cross-threaded and you go and impact it, you've just destroyed it. All the 12 nuts in here had washers underneath of them. You do want to make sure they have a chamfer on one side of the washer and the other side has got a sharper, flatter edge. You want to make sure that softer edge is facing up and you want to make sure you get all your washers put back. something important. <clears throat> Had a washer that goes between it and this. Remember I talked about the busted 
dowel the pin. So I'm gonna make sure that just snaps back in. This sits inside the lip of the outer tub. So if you're having trouble getting it in, check. You have to spread it just a little bit. Easy way of putting the lid back on is to press those in and make sure they're past the lip so you can snap them into place or you may just end up bending the living daylights out of them. So there's proof I fixed it. And it did its warm up part. Oh, I could finally have some clean clothes. Hey, if you like this video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to me. I can show you some more things. Maybe I can help you out with some that you're trying to fix.